<laughs> well, what did you get? What did you get? I don't know. <laughs> but it's a blizzard. It's a... Thank it, you, Shelly. It's the blueberry flavor that you like, but they, they don't ship the creams, obviously. Or the, the creams? The cones. They don't ship the cones. Did you like that blue cone before? The cotton candy? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, oh, it's in blizzard form? Tell me wow. what you want to say. Thank you, Shelly. <laughs> Hi, guys. It's the Saturday of... May long? May long weekend? I tell you, uh, working on a house and not being like a handyman man, uh, it kind of sucks. I got home from work on Monday and Brittany had a surprise waiting for me. You, you what's wrong? You, come here, down. You, you, down. You, Britt had taken all of our dishes and utensils and Tupperware and stuff out of the kitchen and onto the dining room table because she had planned to spend May long weekend uh, redoing the kitchen. Uh, she wants to paint the kitchen cabinets. I think replace the backsplash. Brittany had huge plans for May Long. Kind of sucks because I woke up this morning and I got a huge headache. So I was able to help Brittany with some sanding and uh, really just prepping uh, for painting. But yeah, my head hurts so much. Great start to great start to the May Long weekend. So much for relaxing. Let me show you what we're what we're dealing with. What? Did you open it after I used it? Set a timer for 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes. And that's starting now. Giant chicken chunks and eggs. Okay, go. What are you doing? What are you doing? You, I'll just edit you out. There's a Brittany, there goes Brittany. <laughs> oh, look at this, all the shit's off the, off the. So all the doors are actually downstairs. We ripped off all the hardware. I'm pretty sure Britt's gonna replace all the hardware. Have they come in? Did you pick them up this morning? What did you pick up this morning? But the hardware didn't come in? Oh, all right. So Britt had to go back to Home Depot for some other stuffs, but the hardware is not in yet. But yeah, look at this. This all used to be like a really crappy wood and Brittany has started priming it. I believe the color she's picked is gray, a type of gray. She thinks it's gonna look good. I'm sure she, done her, she did her research, so I don't doubt it's gonna turn out well. But yeah, I just had a crazy headache today, so I'm not gonna sand at all today. Or I'm not gonna sand it anymore for the day. I'm probably gonna continue that either tomorrow or, or Monday. But yeah, this is our long weekend. The long weekend is more, more goddamn rentals. Oh, Yuki's done eating. Yuki's done eating. Allow me to direct your attention to some of the finer points of the reno. Uh, Brittany and I had quite the argument uh, about enumerating or labeling the uh, the cabinets. She she took it upon herself to put labels on the actual like I guess like cabinet itself and not just the door. And she's using letters, totally fine. But I figured. If we were starting from left to right anyway, and we knew left was A, why would we need to mark the cabinet itself? The first one would be A. We could even use numbers. One, two, three, all the way to the right. Same with the bottom. What do we got here? I can't even tell what letter this is. Is that O? Is that F? It's a little dark. But yeah, there we go. And this is our section for the dishwasher, which we tossed. Uh, we use it to house the garbage can but there's the electrical for it capped off here's the water line another point of contention was what to do with the old range hood it doesn't actually have ventilation so the range hood makes no sense i think it's just mostly for looks because it would just suck up air from the stove and just blow it onto the kitchen anyway so i don't really get that unless it like filtered out the smoke but i, I don't even know what these range hoods are actually capable of Humber oh, wants to be on. I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> well, Shelly can see the preview of the vlog. So, all this white stuff is not going to be white, it will be gray. 
All right, with the kitchen being in such disarray, there's no motivation to cook any real food. So we've got pizza, frozen, frozen pizza and chicky tendies for dinner tonight. I think I'll show you the basement after and the state of the, the cabinet doors. I'll probably just cut it off here and we'll just get on with the rest of the video tomorrow. Okay. Oh, it's not funny. <laughs> Like, I'm obviously taking video already. Like, tell me to move. I got nothing but the highlights Can't believe that this is my life I'm only living on the bright side Days later, uh, shit, a lot happened. I don't even know what I filmed. Okay, but days later, good food? Is it called, it's called good food? Brit actually placed an order for good food. One of those internet frozen food delivery services. It was frozen. The meats was, oh, it was fresh delivered. Whatever, we had to, we had to uh, they delivered a couple meals for us. They give you these fancy, fancy ingredients with fancy recipes to follow. Pretty nice looking. I've yet to, I, mean, I haven't eaten it yet, but this is our first time making it. Oh, what are we having now? We're having Argentinian style grilled sausage sausage sandwiches. Gr Argentinian style grilled sausage sandwich. I'm gonna eat now. I'm not gonna film it, but I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna enjoy it, and I'll I'll show you the other recipes after. Okay, well, dinner's done. Thoughts on the burger? Was uh, it tasted great? The salad had some wine vinaigrette, a red wine vinaigrette, a red wine vinaigrette, and it was a little too YOLO for me, but still good. Uh, best part really was the, the burger that had like some special sauce and had sausages. Next up, oh, so what else we got here? We have whiskey butter pork chops and Korean style beef bowl. I'm pretty sure the Korean style beef bowl is gonna be a safe bet. All right, I'll take you guys downstairs and I'll show you Brittany's work on the cabinet doors. So yeah, I'm not able to, oh, it's dark. There, we'll go with that. All right, so still no haircut, but forget that. I'm gonna get a haircut tomorrow. So this is Brittany's handiwork. She's got uh, cabinet doors scattered everywhere. She decided to go for a gray, and I think it's turning out pretty good. I would have preferred a matte finish, but whatever. Yeah, we're waiting on hinges, and once the hinges come in, I'll be able to mount those, uh, those doors up. I think that's the only hardware we're waiting on. Knobs we have, handles we have, just the hinges. Oh, it has come to my attention that Brittany, god damn it, she tried to glue the front part of our drawers together. She tried to glue them and they don't, not only do they don't really stick well, we need to put these handles with these tiny screws through, through these pieces of wood. So just going through one is, is enough, but we need to be able to go through both, which won't clear, it'll be way too thick. So now I've got to screw the handle in this guy, slap this on and get other screws in on the side without puncturing or going through this, this front part. Give me a computer, you know? 
You know, give me an app to make. I can do that. God damn it. I guessed, and it fits. I guessed on the bit, and it fit. Not bad for eyeballing. Hmm? Not bad. Now I gotta get these guys drilled through. I wish I had a workbench. Stop! That should sound good. There's no way it's gonna go through the, look. There's no way, we're going at an angle. There's no way. I don't know how I feel about this. It's just so jank. I don't know, I'm not a handyman. You have no choice. I use glue too. And staple. Okay. What do you want for my space? A little more room. You have plenty of room here. Bad for eyeballing. I've been eyeballing all these and they're all landing. So we have a slight problem. No, you didn't. Yeah. Get the glue. So I ended up ripping up the last piece uh, off the face, the last face piece of the, the last drawer, and I actually broke it. But we have wood glue, and I hope it sticks. I've actually never used this, so I don't even know how long it takes to dry. Does it take like an hour? It goes quick on the bottle. Yeah? So I'm just letting it sit right there. I just need it to withstand some drilling. I need to be able to drill holes either, I guess, here or here, uh, because I'm running screws on the back side to actually fasten this, and then, yeah, that should be it. Hopefully it holds. If your dad saw this, he'd be like, well, that's weird. Somebody put screws diagonally through a place where you don't put screws in. I'm trying to do a kitchen right now without I would go as far as to say, this is the best. Look, good as new. Wait, let me look at that. The edges aren't even, Lyndon. What? Job, Scott McGilvery. That's the best I could do. Let's test it out. Did okay. you scuff up the side or is that just wood? That is scuff. This is the drawer that we broke. You broke. You it doesn't broke. look, it doesn't look too bad. And this you wouldn't know was uneven. Had I not told you. Like, standing up here. Come in at this corner. Standing up here, like, you can't tell. Especially if you're like going about your day like, oh, I wonder what I'm gonna make today. Oh, some towels here. Hey, this is pretty straight. I don't even notice it. But this is extra mess. I just gotta hope that glue, after oh, this glue that? dries, we should, if you wanna touch this up, that'd Do you be... wanna, um... Clamp now? Yeah, that'd be okay. great. Hold on. There's too much force in the bottom, you know what I mean? Here I come. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, look. Yuki! Was there any glue on the bottom or is it only on the sides? It's on the side. Okay, Britt's gonna be in that position for a while there. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. This vlog was like filmed over two weeks. What happened in those two weeks? Like I filmed last week too when we had. Uh, when you passed your NCLEX. I started the weekend before that. Okay, I don't know what's in this video, but Britt passed her NCLEX and I'm super proud of her. It's all thanks to me for giving her the support. All me, baby. Super proud of Britt. Carmelo's birthday happened and Yuki, what'd she do? She ate a bone, she ate a whole goddamn bone. I don't know, I'm just gonna end it here. I don't know, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, we're doing the kitchen. 
We're gonna, I'm gonna give you updates on this guy. I'm gonna give you updates on that guy over there. Okay, bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Shh.